Hey everybody, my name's Rhett. Today I want to jump right into Matthew 10. This is where Jesus sends out his disciples. He tells them to go, to drive out demons, to heal, to do things in the name of the Lord. And he sends them out with such tenacity that they're to go and to be with the people. But I want to dive in real quick and look at one line that he has to say about how the disciples should act. He says, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. As Jesus sent out his disciples, his message was clear. This is not going to be easy. This is not going to be something that just happens that you can take care of and it's no big deal. He says you need to be prepared when you're spreading the word of God. You need to have the understanding that you're like a sheep amongst wolves. And that when we're going and when we're spreading and we're doing the things that we're called to do in Christ, th things are going to be hard. He says be smart. He says be courageous. He says be shrewd like a snake. But he doesn't stop there. There's something that's so beautiful in all of this that it's this type of like in your face type of go out and to share your faith type of message he's sending. But then he says, whoa, whoa, whoa. But also be as innocent as a dove. We get so caught up in going and going and sometimes it's just like, yes, I want to do what's right and I'm going to go punch it in the face, but that's not the message he has. He says, yes, we must be bold, but we also must be innocent. Why is being innocent so important in this situation? Being innocent in this situation is so important because think of a child and the innocence they have. With that innocence comes transparency, with that innocence comes genuineness, and with that innocence comes some purity. Jesus is saying, have these things, because when we're going out and when we're trying to be a disciple in the name of Christ, it takes a genuine, authentic, pure, innocent person to connect with one another to be in communion and to have this relationship. If I'm just yelling from the rooftops, hey, this is what you should do, that's going to go in one ear and out the other. But when we're intentionally in relationship, when we're diving deeper and deeper and when we're having these moments of intimacy where our innocence comes out, that's where sharing the gospel, that's where showing God's love, that's where being in relationship united with the Holy Spirit shows. It's that bold faith, but it's also that genuine, innocent, pure heart that makes this relationship that we get to have people with people so important, but also so worth it. I hope that one day when you hear the calling and Jesus is sending you out and he's saying, this person right here, that's the mission field. Or he's saying, hey, this situation that you see, this is where you can shine the light of God into. Or when he's just saying, hey, you need your heart filled. Don't be so hard on yourself. Have some of that innocence in your own heart. I hope we listen and we go. I hope to see you real, real soon. But until then, so long.